everybody on your schedule is going to play you uh, with their A game. And uh, we've got to understand that and understand that uh, even when we're up 17 to 3, that we can't take our foot off the gas because um, teams are not going to go away lightly. Uh, they're going to keep swinging. Uh, so proud of the way that, that we did respond, but knowing that, that uh, we've got to do uh, a much better job if we want to achieve the goals that, that we've got in front of us. Tom, can you take us through your range of emotions first on the Fumble over, return for touchdown. Then on your stop at the one-yard line with the game absolutely on the line. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I ever uh, really have emotions during the game. It's, um, it's difficult because you're, you're, you, as a head coach, you've got to plan the next move, you know, and so uh, you, you've got to uh, prepare the defense to go back out there and uh, play defense up by uh, seven, and then the, the last stop, you know, I. Uh, regardless of the review, we're, us standing there staring at the scoreboard is not going to change the review. So I wanted to make sure that our offense had a, had a good overtime plan and that our defense, uh, that we were ready to go block the PAT. So um, I, I didn't really have a whole lot of emotion just because you, you got to calculate the, the next move. And, and um, uh, you know, that, we'll let the kids have the emotions. <laughs> okay, what were your emotions when it was over? It was triple zero on rest and it was done. Uh, really excited for our guys. Um, really excited that um, you know that they could uh, take a punch in the face, uh, so to speak, and, and respond. And um, just ag again, it's it's another example of winning is really really hard, and um, you should never ever take winning for granted. So I'm excited as heck. We're going to celebrate the heck out of this one. Celebrate the heck out of it. There's a lot of lessons to be learned, and uh, it's really good to learn those lessons with a win. Uh, but understanding this very short-lived, we got to get back up tomorrow and uh, get ready to play our rival at their place, who's coming off a of bye week, uh, getting ready for us. Tom, uh, first of all, on the on the stop there at the end, two guys that haven't kind of had different roles. You know, Omeke wasn't starting a few weeks ago, and then Austin, he's kind of come along as, as he transferred. Th those two guys to be in on that last play, what you thought, and then is that a – do you all work on that in practice where you where you have like a goal line yeah. pass at the end, that kind of Yeah, thing? there's um – you know, they came in uh, with, uh, you know, extra tackles, extra tight ends, extra fullbacks, no wide receivers. And, um, you know, in order to do that, you've, you've got to expect a run. And so we substituted in uh, a bunch of guys that, that, quite frankly, hadn't played defense all night. Uh, Emil Fleming, true freshman, was in there at defensive line. And then obviously Austin Robertson. Robertson? Robinson. Robinson. Sorry, Austin. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, one of our four pillars of success is competitive focus, which means uh, when your number is called, uh, you're trained properly to go make the play. And um, credit to our defensive staff uh, and credit to Austin and, and Emeke for uh, definitely adhering to one of our pillars of success and, and being ready when their number is called. Tom, could you explain Terrell Williams' ejection of what was told to you within the bounds of the conference rules. <laughs> you did that on purpose, huh? <laughs> Trying to keep some cup. I know. Um, no, I can't. I can't explain it. I, I don't understand the rule. I've got to do a better job of, uh, like I said, uh, of coaching defense. You know, when, when a, uh, a defender uh, finds a target on a, um, on a uh, receiver or a, a ball carrier, and um, uncoils, so to speak, uh, he can't stop at that point. He cannot stop. And in the split second, that, that target might change. And, um, you know, it was my understanding that, um, you know, and I, I, I'm all, I understand why the rule is there. It's for player safety. Um, uh, but. I don't understand how that one is targeting and the one um, on Chance Allen isn't. Uh, that was helmet to helmet contact and wasn't called. So I've got to do a good job of, of refreshing myself on exactly what the rules are, I guess. Um, and to answer the second part of your question, uh, there, there really was no explanation given to me. Uh, Tom, can you walk us through the decision to, to punt and put the defense back on the field light? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were, I mean, it was fourth and, 
I, I don't know the, the situation, but um, uh, you know, if you, their offense was playing really good at the time, and to give them that kind of field position, uh, I believe the ball game was tied at that time, and so uh, only needing you know 20, 30 yards to get in a decent field goal range, it was uh, a no-brainer for me to try to try to pin them. Wish we'd you know. Um, Wish we'd had a, a, a bit of a better kick. Uh, it was inside the 20, but from that distance, probably should have been uh, inside the 10. But um, yeah, that, that was a no-brainer for me, knowing that they only needed a field goal to win the game. What, what did you think of your, your defense on the fumble return for the for the touchdown and like kind of there's a lot of people involved in that play yeah it was, it was about time <laughs> um, you know we've we've done such an unbelievable job here in the past years of of creating turnovers and um we haven't for whatever reason uh, this year uh and I, th I think it was garrett that that made the strip uh just kept fighting you know uh the quarterback did a nice job moving around in the pocket and garrett was shielded by some really big good offensive linemen and uh he kept fighting and uh, stripped the ball out and uh, Mecky was uh, again because of his relentless effort uh, was around the football and uh, scooped it up and then you know it was off to the races guys uh, again did as they're trained and looked up opposite colored jersey made sure they blocked them uh, above the waist and in front and uh, Mecky did the rest. After the struggles defensively last week and, and at, in stretches tonight do you think their confidence is a little bit shaky at this stage and can you build that up through the course of a week getting them back on the practice field and getting them ready for next week? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, they, they ran for under 100 yards, um, and, and we're built to stop the run. we got to get better uh, against the pass. Um, I, last week, from a defensive standpoint, you flushed that. I mean, that's your defense is so different uh, defending the triple option that um, it's – you know, we'll worry about that the next time we play a triple option team. Uh, but it has no bearing uh, on the way that our defense plays tonight because it's it's uh, the alignments, the assignments, the um, the techniques are all different. And so I didn't sense any um, uh, doubt uh, from our defense. Uh, it, it's apparent we've we've got to get better uh, at at our pass defense and our coverage. Um, but. Uh, you know, again, as statistics go, uh, we dodged a statistic tonight, which is, uh, you know, win or lose against Navy over the last you know, three, four years. Uh, teams are, you know, their winning percentage is awful uh, the week after Navy. I know in 20, what would it have been, 2014, I think teams were 1 and 11 the weeks after they played Navy, win or lose. Um, and I don't know what the stat is uh, this year, but uh, I'm proud of our defense for, for getting so banged up. Uh, in that game against Navy and then having, you know, uh, to readjust your entire defensive scheme in such a short week. And that's a really good offense. Uh, really tough to defend because of uh, their scheme and the way they spread the field. But um, uh, we know we got to uh, improve. That's, there's no doubt about that. But um, uh, to do it coming off the, the week, uh, having, you know, after playing Navy, I, th I thought was um, uh, very good. What did you think about Ed Oliver, what he did for you tonight, and specifically his knack for batting down passes? Say it again. Um, what Ed, Ed Oliver did for you tonight and his, his knack for batting down passes? Yeah, he's, uh, he's always around the ball. You know, um, he, he plays with relentless effort. And, um, you know, everybody wants to point to, uh, again, I'll say to his physical tools, which are obviously um, exceptional. Uh, but the thing that makes Ed Oliver Ed Oliver is his tenacity and his motor. And, uh, um, you know, that guy goes full speed um, from snap to whistle every single play that he's in. And if he can't get to the quarterback, uh, again, he's got a knack for uh, jumping up and batting balls down. And uh, again, we needed it because we had some, some guys open uh, when he did that. Any update on Rodgers, Allen, and? Uh, Rodgers, Allen, and? Taylor. Taylor, nope. And you can add Matt Adams and um, uh, who's it? Oh, Gerard Carter. Uh, to that list, Gerard got a stinger, uh, so he was in street clothes by the end of the um, the game. Uh, something that that recurred a couple times during the game. So uh, we've got to get him healthy. Uh, Matt took a shot on on his shoulder, um, and uh, we tried to get it treated up during halftime, and went out there a couple different times, but um, wasn't very effective. So. Um, Natai was an ankle, obviously. Chances a neck right now. Um, who was the other one? Taylor. 
uh, Steve is an ankle um, and a hand. Uh, got his hand smashed in between two helmets, so uh, we're, we're pretty banged up. But um, SMU is not going to care. Uh, they're not. So we've we got to figure out a way to get healthy and figure out a way to get the guys uh, behind those guys that are banged up and get them ready to play. Tom, can you take us through the you, – and you touched on some – the communication going on between the sidelines and your players, between you and Tart Orlando and all the things you're all trying to accomplish, get information to your players in those final seconds there when they make those critical plays to keep them out of the end zone? Uh, just trust your training. I mean, it was it, there wasn't a whole lot of, hey, if they do this, we do that, um, because you, you don't know on defense. You, you've got to um, play the call that's, that's given to you and, and trust your training and technique that uh, you'll be able to to make the stop when necessary. And so that's all we did. Just reminded them, hey, you don't got to be superhuman. Just trust your training. Coach, the play of the secondary, uh, the big touchdown. Was that a blown coverage? Uh, was the safety supposed to have the, the over-the-top containment yeah, on that? Yeah, uh, it was a missed, missed um, uh, communication uh, between the corner and the safety um, and something that you know, we've got to get fixed versus up-tempo teams. Um, that's that's one of the, the areas that they can get you is, um, you know, they snap the ball so fast that uh, if you guys, you know, it was one of just a, f a few miscommunications we had uh, tonight. The other times uh, they didn't capitalize, uh, but that time they did. And so we've got to make sure that uh, we cut that number down to zero because uh, we're going to play, play an up-tempo team this week in SMU as well. Tom, you've had significant wins here. Where does this one stack up? Uh, they're all significant, um, especially at home. You know, our guys are undefeated now in the last two seasons at home. Uh, this place is special. Um, and and um, uh, thank you to all of our fans and, and students, uh, alumni and supporters that came out and, uh, you know, made this truly a home field advantage. And um, it is so neat uh, to have the ESPN sideline guy told me, man, this is, uh, you know, this was pregame. He said, this place is rocking, man. I said, wait, wait till the ball kicks off. And um, to, to have a guy that's, you know, goes to, uh, you know, countless of venues over the course of the year, um, tell me that. I was, I was proud um, of our fan base for uh, really uh, being a part of the game and, and um, helping us win the game.